Hey, Val Andy here with five stories that alter our knowledge of planet Earth, the future of the human species, the Milky Way, and the vast cosmos beyond. Story one asks, did life from Earth escape the solar system eons ago? There's no proof that it happened, but it's not impossible, says Harvard astronomy Avi Loeb in his blog for Scientific American. Loeb calculates that there could have been tens of life-exporting events over the lifetime of Earth. A similar number of events are expected from asteroids that came from outside the solar system before they entered our planet's atmosphere. So it's safe to ask, could we all have evolved from alien microbes? 66 million years ago, a 14 kilometer long Mount Everest sized asteroid blasted a hole in the ground in what is today the Yucatan Peninsula. It's known as the Chicxulub impact, releasing an equivalent of 100 million megatons of TNT creating a 20-mile deep, 110-mile long hole and sterilizing the remaining 170 million square miles of the ancient continent of Pangaea, killing virtually every species on Earth and, oddly, paving the way for the emergence of the human species. It's an impact powerful enough to lift a mountain back into space at escape velocity and perhaps dusting the moon with a coating of crushed dinosaur bone according to mass extinction ex expert Peter Brannon in his book, Ends of the World. The launch of the space dog Lakia aboard Sputnik 2 on November 3, 1957 was a historic milestone. It was the first demonstration that humans are capable of shipping life out into the cosmos. But as we saw above with the Chicxulub event, Mother Nature has accomplished the same task many times over when terrestrial rocks were launched into space as a result of asteroid impacts on Earth. Some of those rocks likely had tiny astronauts in the form of microorganisms in their belly, and other planets have reciprocated. Nearly two decades ago, we learned that a Martian meteorite named ALH84001, which was found in the Antarctica, was never heated more than, 60 degree, than more than 40 degrees above Celsius, or 104 degrees Fahrenheit after being ejected from the surface of Mars. And a paper published in Science argued that there was evidence for past biological activity inside that alien rock. This raises the possibility that if organisms were transferred from Mars to Earth billions of years ago, they could have been the original seeds of life on our own planet, sort of a Mars to Earth biology shuttle. If so, we could all literally be Martians. Given the existence of this delivery system, it's natural to wonder whether a terrestrial package might have been sent not just to Mars, but actually out of our solar system millions and millions of years ago. Story two. In this period of global pandemic, it's time for some cosmic perspective. Over history, says Harvard's Avi Loeb, humans sought goals that are more inspiring than their private lives. For example, during the Second World War, Japanese kamikaze pilots were willing to sacrifice their life for the sake of the Emperor Hirohito. But in view of, recent, of our recent realization that there are an order of one quadrillion habitable planets in the observable universe, the Emperor's status cannot be more significant than that of an ant hugging a single grain of sand on the landscape of a huge beach, says Loeb. And if an Emperor's influence is so minuscule on a cosmic scale, so is the impact of any other individual on our planet Earth. This echoes, Carl, this echoes Carl Sagan's pale blue dot speech that gives me chills every time I listen. What lurks beneath Europa's icy shell? Story number three. Arthur C. Clarke, author of Space Odyssey 2001, famously warned, warned attempt no landing to explore Europa the most intriguing of Jupiter's 79 moons, and perhaps anticipating the almost racing certainty that there's alien life there, according to a leading British scientist, Monica Grady, a professor of planetary and space science. Grady suggests that the frigid ocean beneath Europa, Europa's layer of ice, which is up to 15 miles deep, could harbor octopus-like or squid-like creatures. The rocky bottom of Europa's ocean is almost like a miniature Earth, with plate tectonics, continents, deep trenches, and active spreading centers, observes Caltech's Mike Brown. Think about mid-ocean ridges on Earth, he says, with their black smokers belching, scalding nut nutrient-rich waters into a, onto a seafloor teeming with life that is surviving on these chemicals. It doesn't take much of an imagination 
to picture that the same sort of rich chemical soup in Europa's ocean, leading to the evolution of some sort of a life, living off the internal energy generated inside of Europa's core. If you're looking for Europa's whales or a giant squid, this is the world you want to look for them on, says Brown. Story four, the epic ocean journey that took Stone Age people to Australia. Some 65,000 years ago, reports Graham Lawton for New Scientist, early humans lashed together a bamboo raft in the hope that it would carry them over the horizon and they washed up on the lost continent of Sahul, which then included Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania. New clues hint that it was no accident, but rather the first great human maritime expedition. It's the equivalent of sending a spaceship to the moon, says Michael Westaway, at the University of Queensland in Australia. There's nothing comparable in human evolution at that time. Until recently, scholars tended to think that the crossing was accidental. But new evidence suggests more strongly than ever that it was planned, perhaps involving thousands of people, many rafts, and great seafaring skill. Story number five. 28 never before seen ancient viruses have been discovered in a Tibetan glacier. Melting ice from climate change could release the pathogens into the environment, one researcher said, calling it a worst case scenario. For the past 15,000 years, reports Live Science, a glacier on the northwestern Tibetan plateau of China has hosted a party for some unusual guests an assemble, ensemble of frozen viruses, many of them unknown to modern science, with unknown consequences for the human species. Val Landy for Heard in the Milky Way and the Galaxy Report, signing off.